Okay. Stay here, Mills. You, come with us. Being an outlaw was the price. And I'd seen that price again and again and again. Let's do this. Man, Napoleon wants to talk to you. Come on, brother. Let's get this done. You ever hear how I ended up in Oregon? I jumped ship in Portland. Everyone told me about a legendary strip club up here in Lincoln. Jolly Roger. As soon as I got here, I fell in love with the place. And a girl. Here, watch the stairs, brother. Don't have you breaking your neck and kill me. Within a week, I'd taken a job at your dad's club and never looked back. This here was called Party Rock back then. And right here is where I told the boys I deflowered that girl. The lovely Bethany Nightingale. Sweetest little Indian you ever saw. Oh, God. Shit, she was beautiful. Look out now. Big step. But you see, that whole story was bullshit. Just a silly lie. I never touched Bethany Nightingale. When the chief got word I was telling the town that I'd fucked his daughter, which is step, it wasn't long in sending his boys after me. They found me one night, and they dragged me up here. Anyway, they pounded the shit out of me, and held me up to the edge, when your old man and the son showed up and called them off. Your father said he'd known men who died over pussy, but nobody should have to die for dreaming about it. <sighs> Nineteen years old. Jesus, I was scared shitless. I owed your daddy my life. Within a year, I was a Samlin prospect. That night, your old man taught me a lesson about brotherhood and honor. Maybe you lot should have listened to your daddy. Might have saved yourselves all this trouble. Every man in the MC knows what it means to be taken out to the rock. It means there's a price to be paid for betraying your brothers. Okay, on your knees, brother. On your knees now. Come on. You know how it goes. Hurry it up, the storm's coming. Let's do this. This right here. This was the price. What's wrong?
Yeah, Dad, I'm coming. Glenn! Glenn! My dad came back from Vietnam, a little unhinged. It's hard to believe that 15 years ago, he was the most feared biker badass north of California. What a situation! Are you coming? On my way. Glenn! There's a problem with the power. Got a situation here. Are you coming? I'm gonna be in trouble here soon. Problem with the power. Got a situation here. Are you coming? I'm gonna be in trouble here soon. There's a problem. He lost a with kidney the in a knife fight. Cancer took the other one. Doctors gave him two months to live. That was two years ago. Morning, Dad. There you are. Goddamn beeper's gone off on my machine because it lost power. Well, change your heparin. Electricity's off, son. Yeah, I saw the truck. McIntyre must have sent him. Yeah, well. Electricity powers my machine, and if my machine stops working, my heparin stops pumping, and my brain clots, and I'm dead. I'm ready to die, but I want to hold on another seven weeks to see you go off to college. And my job here will be done. Yeah, Dad. Seven weeks. If you knew the truth, he'd die right now. A car battery will do the trick. Find one. Jerry Ray time machine. And do it quick if you want to keep me alive. <laughs> I think the battery is in the bathtub. <laughs> You'll need an inverter and cables to help make that happen. <sighs> I'm on it. My brain will be here coagulating until you get back. Get the cables now. Be dead in the ground before you get back at this rate. The cables are probably in the garage. Time's a waste in Clint. We should sell this for scrap, but Dad won't let me. Says it reminds him of the old days.
Oh, for fuck's sake, son. Get a move on. There. The blood will stay clean for hours now. Set your watch so you know when I need my syringe changed again. Already have. Who cut off the goddamn power? The landlord cut it because we missed rent. Well, where did all the money go? Dad, we go through this every month. The town is dead. There's no one around to get their shit fixed. You've been too sick to do paint work. And people don't like my style. We've been scraping bottom. For a while now. Christ. We could try asking Duke. That shit for brains. You want some dirty money? Why don't you just move to L.A. and start selling your asshole? You hear me? Little prick needs a mother a basket case. Miserable son of a bitch. Okay, okay, I get it, Dad. I get it. You don't like the guy. No, do not like that piece of trash, Clint. Don't throw it all away. Five years it took us to save that tuition money. You're on your way. I'm proud. Your mom would be happier in a big and shit. Thanks, Dad. Your brother's a cunt. Your mother's a corpse. I soon will be. You're not going to drown in the same shit. You're going to walk tall. That box under the bed is sacred. Fifty-five hundred goddamn dollars worth of sacred. You're weeks away, boy. Weeks. Now, I need to go back to my little chair. I want to be outside. Sure thing. And bring Peaches. She needs a very show. All right, Peaches. Me and Peaches will need a joint. Ain't there something awful this morning? Well, I think we're out. But uh, I'll take a look. Good. Good boy. I love you. And Clint? Yeah, Dad? I'm never gonna die, Clinty. Hey, Brock. Hello, Clint. You might have noticed that your power is out. See, the deal is, when you don't pay rent, you don't get electricity. I know you're retarded, but I think you get it. Your daddy back there needs electricity. And I think you understand what needs to happen. Please, Brock, I know we owe you, but can you cut me some slack? Yeah, you owe us. You're three grand behind on your rent. My daddy is unhappy. He gets the money today, or tomorrow you and your daddy and his shitty little bird are homeless. I don't give a rat's ass if he has cancer. But please, Brock, I'll give you all the money I have. And my dirt bike has collateral for the rest. I'm not here to make deals with you. I'm here for my fucking money. I can't get it all. Not that fast. 1G today, the rest before the week's out. I can do maybe 500. 800, you little faggot. Not one penny less. This place is worse than a dump. Goddamn shithole. Garbage everywhere. You two live like animals. Dirty animals. Fuck. I'm going to clean it up. Uh-huh. Fucking right you are. I'll be back for that money tonight. Tonight, shithead! 
the fuck was that? It's just Brock doing his dad's dirty work. What's he doing? Not for the last eight years. Go back to sleep. Eight hundred, Jesus. I got sixty on me. My brother used to race together, but he quit because I always won. This makes a hundred more. Only 640 to go. No problem. I gotta go under his bed. Again. No fucking choice. Gotta get that out of there. Dad, you want to go out back? <laughs> huh? You want to go out back? To your chair? No, I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna die. Dad was also a famous artist. People came from all over to have him custom paint their rides. And I was good at fixing it. We did good business. Until the town died. And Dad got sick. It all went to shit. Everything. Where the fuck? Ah, oh, you moved me. That's good. I appreciate that. I like it here. So did your mom. Yeah. She used to sit right there and hold my hand. I don't remember. I wish you did. Your mother was a goddamn angel. I'll go get the bird. B bring Peaches out, please. She needs me. Okay. Clint. Yeah, Dad? I'm gonna miss you when you go off to school. I love you. Come on, Peaches. I love you. When Dad got back from Nam, the Sons of Anarchy became his whole life. He loved them as much as he ever loved his family. More, I think. A 
until the shit hit the fan. That's when mom disappeared. This picture is the only way I know what she looked like. I'd already reduced the college fund to a few hundred bucks from five and a half K. That's how I kept the lights on and dad's dialysis running. He'd be crushed if he knew I scraped it dry. Part of me hoped he'd die before I had to tell him. I was supposed to start college in seven weeks with pocket change. A joke. Calling when you know dad's here. Hey, relax. It's good to hear your voice. You get your cherry busted yet? What do you want, Duke? Jesus, you're tense. You need to get out more. You know, find a girl. Get your dick sucked. What do you want? Does dad still have that 1911? You know, the one with the silencer? Why? I've got business. No, no way. He'll fucking kill us. Okay, first of all, he won't touch you. You're his precious baby. And I'm not scared of the Charlie Roger anymore. Besides, he's so out of it, he won't even know. Yeah, don't be so sure. Listen, if you need the gun, I need money. Money? Are you serious? Y you want me to pay you for Roger's gun? Yeah, I do. Brock's dad cut the fucking power again. I need to pay him by tonight. Well, why didn't you say so? I can help. I want to. How much? Six hundred. Mm, yeah. I can do... two hundred. I need more. I would, my needy little brother, but I can't. Next week, I can spot you two grand. Likely more if you need, but right now, that gun is very important to me. Fine, I'll take two. Good. Now. Wait, who's we? Shit. The fuck is all that racket out there? Who's on those hogs? It's nothing, Dad. What about my fucking weed? You found any? Still looking. Duke hates Dad because he used to beat the crap out of him growing up. We're talking broken arms and stitches. Dad hates Duke because he's a Sam Lynn prospect. There was nothing but hate between them now. Looking good, little brother. Looking fit. You working out? Dad's gonna know you're here. I don't need that shit right now. Easy. I'm here and I'm gone. Everybody wins. You got the thing? In case you haven't noticed, Honey Hill is over there, watching. Fuck her. Let's do this. I want the money first. Are you kidding me, Clint? You don't trust me? I need money, asshole. You really aren't gonna do this to me, are you? You're making me look bad. Clint! Who's at the door? Just a guy looking for a bike repair, Dad. I need that gun. I've got a lot riding on this. So do I, Duke. Hey, ladies. What's the hold up? We're all dressed up. Oh, hey, Tig. Nah, nothing. <laughs> My brother here is just getting the piece. You're Charlie Rogers' other kid, huh? What's your name? Clint. Tig, Sam Crow. I know your dad. Nothing but love for him. Hope he's fighting a good fight. I'd pay my respects if there was time, but there isn't. Let's do our business, and we'll be out of your way. Okay, I'm just... If she sees what's going on, I can't... Don't worry about that tub of shit. No, no, no. I gotcha. Is she the big Indian cop? You know, I love big Native American cops. 
Let me go say hello while you two do a little family transaction. Don't screw this up for me, bro. Tonight's a big night. What's that? Oh, it's good. Sam Lin is going on a run to Tacoma with Tig. I am in charge of the clubhouse and looking after wheels. I need to be packing. Who's wheels? Old Sam Lin, elder statesman, stuck in a wheelchair these days. Half senile old dude. But who cares? See, I get that kind of trust from the sons now. Next thing you know, I'm a patch, moving on up. Between that and the sweet partnership I'm rolling out. What partnership? Oh, beyond anything your innocent mind could grasp. Epic things are happening, brother. I found a way to make some thick cake for the club. Sick thick. How? I know some people, and I'm brokering a deal with them in Sam Lin. And of course, I will reap the ridiculous financial benefits when the deal is complete. Benefits I will happily share with you, my needy little baby bro. But until it's 100% solid, keep your mouth shut. Sure, whatever. Good. I'll hold you to it. Now what about that gun? Now I need that money. This is only one. We said 200. <laughs> I'd give you more if I had more. But that's all I got on me. You fucking asshole. Cheer up. I gave you what I could. Now, now, now. A deal is a deal. If I don't have 800 by tonight, we're fucking screwed. I'm sorry, baby bro. I've done all I can for you. Dad could die. So raid your precious college fund. I, I can't do that. All right. The sacred trust. The great white hope. Mr. Airplane Mechanic. The money's already gone. Oh, Clint. You really are the best of us, aren't you? <laughs> Look, the Johnsons have power. They're away for the summer. Juice into their box like we used to. But you better hurry. Those are storm clouds. You don't want to be screwing around with electricity in the rain. I'm not gonna fry myself. Sorry, bro. They're good. Good. Let's split. Nice to meet you, kid. Jesus! Fuck's sake, running rough. Shitty time to need a new carburetor. You don't need a carburetor. I can fix that in two seconds. Hey, trust me. I need a new carburetor. No, trust me, you don't. You're running a bit rich is all. I can smell gas. A little adjustment. Actually, you might want to let them take a look, Tig. You know those retards? What do you call them? They can play Beethoven the first time you sit them down on a piano? Oh, yes, yeah, Savants. I just read about them Reader's Digest. Yeah, Savants. Clint's a savant with bikes. Thanks. Interesting. All right, retard. You got two minutes. We got to get a move on. You listen to that, purring like a pussy cat. So how come you're not the Samlin prospect instead of this titty head? Nah, I'm good. Seriously, man. Samlin could use your skills, bro. I mean, they're the real retards, and I don't mean fucking savants. Not interested. All right. Change your mind, you let me know. I can set you up. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, kid. Say hi to your old man for me. Give him a slap. <laughs> 